How do we work as a team? Uh, the key is to make sure that everybody is aware and educated about the key issues and the key concerns that that we are that we are able to spot things and we're, that we are comfortable talking about these things and seeking advice um, from our designated welfare and integrity officers uh, and I think give people the confidence to to speak up whether that's a coach a parent or a player so things don't don't escalate and, and things can be tackled um, as soon as possible. Generally if you're working in a team sport we try to optimize like the, the multidisciplinary team that we work with especially I think from a nutrition perspective often I tend to work quite closely with a psychologist or even if there's a welfare manager in terms of some of the sports I work in where you're always making sure that we're communicating effectively within that confidential space just to protect our athletes and make sure that we're aware of what pressures they're under, what type of setup is, what's happening to them outside of their sporting arena, just to make sure that we're always just aware of how of what we say and, and provide is then um, makes, us, makes a safe space for them. Ultimately, it's not one person's responsibility and, and knowledge might be held in different areas within that team, so it's around sharing that information, making sure that there's a consistent um, and collaborative approach to the work that we do and recognising that we may, our behaviours may inadvertently um, influence the, the people that we're working with, so being conscious of um, our behaviours, our actions, um, our communications, the things that we say do have an influence on people.